loved this band. Before they even walked in the building, you could just feel the, the intensity and the sincerity precede them. And that's an amazing thing that you, you look for as a producer. It means everybody's there to work and everybody's there to achieve something that's very real to them. They were super prepared. Like, they knew exactly what they had to do. They started running through the song and it sounded like almost like a finished thing, like instantly. So we had these Telefunken mics that we couldn't afford in a million years. We used the Elam 260s as overheads on the drum set, which were incredible. We also used the U47 on the drum room mic, kind of angled towards the drums, maybe six feet up in the air, probably around 10 feet back. But it was just a perfect amount of everything in the kit. Big eye opener for us was using the Elam 251 on the bass amp. It's a single 15, it's nice. like 70 watts, nice. super rare. I've never heard anything like putting uh, that, that Elam on that, that amp. We were like, wow, that's one of the best bass sounds we've gotten. Even though it comes in way later in the song, which is a really, really awesome move on their part. Like, you kind of don't even think about the fact that, they're, that it isn't there. But the second it drops, it just gets heavy. It gets, like, humongous. Looking out for, looking out for. Everything I've talked about in terms of their sincerity and their intensity, it really lives in their vocals. It lives in the fact that there's three people, all related, all singing together. In their demos, we heard moments of that, glimpses of that. We wanted to make sure that we, we, we could capture that in this song and maybe give them some insight as to, you know, how they can capture it from here on out. We'll just run through it like once, once or twice. Okay. Totally no pressure, no nothing. I mean, okay. it's just to, it's just to get, get our levels, stuff like that. Okay. Don't blow out your voice, like just sort of go yeah. easy. Okay. We had the Telefunken Elam 251 and the Telefunken U47, side by side. Capsules matched up right, right next to each other. Each of them was going into a DW Fern VT2, which is the preamp, and out of that into the DW Fern VT7, which is the compressor. So we had extremely matched signal paths. The only thing that would be different would be the microphone. Luke's voice is just really big sounding and really distinct. We ended up going with the U47, mostly because it really made his vocal pop and like brought it to the forefront. Uh, looking out for, looking out for. That second <coughs> four comes faster, a little faster than you think. Okay. But other okay. than that, I think the rhythm is sounding, does the rhythm sound good in here to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We ended up going with the 251 on the rest of the vocals, just because it put it a little further back in the mix, a little bit further back in the speakers. They stood a little bit further off the mic. It captured something a little less focused, a little more full range. Right up on it. We just mic'd up the piano, you know, with a stereo pair of Neumann KM 184s and had the damper pedal down and just ran, you know, like fingernails and fingers across all the strings and it sounded great. Do you hear it? Does it sound good? We were able to do a little experiment that we kind of started months back with Le Big Vic, which was putting a microphone on the camera dolly. All right, let's try the simple thing. You want to do it? So it'd be like side to side the whole length of the swoop. There's Maybe. only two swells, right? Yeah. The two and then... Yep. Do you want to put the piano through it? Too? It's in there too, oh. yeah. Just for a bar. Yeah, two bars, really. Yep. I think from... We'll, we'll play it. But we just put, you know, the, the Ampeg Gemini out in the room and then an XY pair of the 260s on the dolly and I just kind of swept it across. It 
made our reverb sound just sort of swish violently from left to right in the speakers. It's really quite eye-opening. It's not every day that like I'll work with a band that really loves what they're doing so much that it comes across as being that simple. Realizing how passionate they were about what they do as a band, um, how well they work together, and like how supportive they were of each other. It just kind of put it in perspective of, of my job trying to capture what they're putting out and you know be that inspired in doing that as well. My love gets heavy, baby, when my love